What a coincidence. What do you mean? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. Master D. Luke might actually get a tan. Wait, did you two sail here? How did you get past the storms and fog? Storms and fog? We must have gotten lucky. When we arrived, there wasn't a patch of fog in sight. Now it feels like I'm on vacation. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport you did. Huh? You mean Devalin carried you here too? You seem surprised. Dragon flights are a fairly conspicuous affair. Eye-catching, one could say. Wait, so everyone found out that I... It would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. Oh, thank goodness. Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? I guess Devalin must be a die-hard fan of classical ballads. Wow! Uh, <laughs> I... I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you assume? The acting Grandmaster's jokes have improved of late. Do we seem like fitting travel companions to you? <laughs> there were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons. Various reasons? Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion. <laughs> An incisive observation. Nothing ever gets past the honorary knight. So, who were the two others? Albedo and Razor. Huh? Albedo and Razor? <laughs> Yay! Don't tell us you all came here for a vacation! Wait, Kaya, if you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Favonius? The mighty librarian Lisa, of course. Not to worry. In some ways, she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoers in Mondstadt need to watch out for the next several days. Thankfully, Lisa's there. Um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Ah, uh, yes, that. I should start with how we ended up here. We arrived by Dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off of the Dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the Dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact, while D. Luke believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. During our little dispute, Albedo quietly disappeared on us. Hold on! How come he was able to walk off, but you two are stuck here? <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps we're fated to be doomed together. Right, Master D. Luke? <sighs> is that so? Albedo is an alchemist, and skilled at his craft. If I could use those beautiful artificial flowers of his, it would be a simple affair to traverse these islands. For some reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your insistence did we change course and land here. Oh my, but your footsteps melted the water that I took such effort to freeze. Who made Cryo and Pyro so incompatible? If you had a geovision, I'd be long asleep on one of the other islands. Oh, so what I saw earlier was just steam from vaporized water? Pyron still can't tell if you guys are really close or hate each other's guts. Uh, regardless, things seem to be livelier now, which is good. Yes, it is a boon to have extra allies in an unknown situation. You two, please join our travels. Sure. But of course. Our top priority is to find Albedo and Razor. Do you know which direction they went? For now, it's impossible to locate Razor. As for Albedo, he went that way. Then there's no time to lose! Let's go look for him!
is really big. Where could he be? Mr. Alfredo! Alfredo, come out! Hmm? Is that the Traveler and Paimon? Hello, everyone. Hello, Klee. I thought that we might convene around this time. I trust you enjoyed your stroll? How kind of you to maroon us on that neighboring island. Oh, please, don't mention it. I felt that the two of you could do with some alone time. Albedo, why did you come here? I received a letter. On the way over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. They were all signed Dodo King. Anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master Diluc says Dodo King? Everyone's letter was different. And yet all of them drew us to this archipelago. My letter was very simple. I have Klee. If you wish to see her, come to the Golden Apple Archipelago. Oh, that's blackmail! Dodo King's trying to coerce you! Correct. It would appear that I have been successfully coerced. My letter was similarly straightforward. Among the deserted islands, you will find a sunken pirate ship. Within lies great treasure and long-lost antique vases of incredible rarity. <laughs> it would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Classic Kaya. Does anyone clue what he's talking about. Anyway, so what's your story, Diluc? There is an Abyss Order stronghold among the deserted islands. Make haste. You have to admire their strategy. The right bait for the right fish. So strange. They're all personalized. But why did Dodo King gather everyone here? <sighs> this is indeed a mysterious case. I never trusted the letter to begin with. Yes. It would appear that the grown-ups among us came here primarily to understand what was behind the curtain. Uh, didn't Razor get a letter too? He did, though he couldn't read it. A certain kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman that he encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. A kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman? On the way over? Oh, Paimon knows! Paimon knows! It must be Draft, right? The content of Razor's letter was no more complex. The Red Bernie Girl has gone to the islands. She needs help. Having heard the contents of the letters, it became abundantly clear that something wasn't right. I don't believe this so-called Dodo King exists. But there is someone or something with a reason for luring us here together. No, no! Dodo King is real! He's... he's Dodo King! <sighs> if you say so. Something caught Razor's attention on the journey over, or he wouldn't have leaped from the dragon's back. I've examined this island. His footprints are nowhere to be found, and there's no sign of a boat having left. Based on our position and bearing when he made the jump, if he didn't land here, then he must have made his way over there. You've already been there? We were there a few days ago! There was a mysterious machine. Jean said that it came from Inazuma! Hmm... Could that be what caught Razor's attention? Everyone, let's head to the central platform. Look! Over there! Razor! 
everyone. I am here. Razor, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? No need. Okay. I smelled something. This, give to you. What's this? Is this a part of the machine? Clear smell. Same as letter. Hmm. Razor did mention that his letter had a peculiar smell. You sure have a great sense of smell, Razor. Oh, did Dodo King factor that in too? Also, this one and that one? <laughs> Same smell. Oh? This thing? Put inside metal person. Same. Here. Yes. I don't understand how. Traveler is clever. Razor trusts. Yeah, Klee trusts the honorary knight too. Not so fast. We need to think this through. What will happen if we reinsert the missing component? This Inazuman machine could well be something that Dodo King left here for us to find and activate. It might reawaken Dodo King himself. Then we will be ready for him. Honorary Knight, prepare yourself. We really wanted to meet Dodo King. That's why we came here, right? Crystals? Oh, let's hope your faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, why don't we start with the machine itself? Our previous conjecture was correct. This giant in Inazuman attire is a machine modeled on the human form. Was it built for fighting? Like ruin guards? I'm afraid so. It possesses significant combat capabilities and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. Its outward appearance confirms its Inazuma origin. But, as far as I know, Inazuma is still under the Sakaku Decree. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. People? I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. I would go so far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population. They were most likely visitors from elsewhere, not indigenous to the islands. They may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the island has been empty with only a few scattered remnants of the past. As for the crystals... Hmm... They've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore. Transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? That sounds like someone wanted to commemorate the machine. Yes, I had a look at it myself. Can I put it? It almost feels like someone left a heartfelt offering of gratitude. Hmm. I see. And what about the rest of you? Who do you think would want to commemorate a machine in this way? Perhaps someone who was truly grateful. Only people that had benefited directly from the machine would leave a memorial like this. If the machine coexisted with that first group of humans, then the memorial isn't so hard to understand. Of course, this is only a hypothesis. Coexisted? You mean before it became damaged? Hmm, I wonder what exactly happened to it. Hmm, 
There is a hilly chill presence here. Perhaps this machine's indiscriminate attack is actually supposed to be targeted at hilly churls to protect the inhabitants. An unlikely coincidence, I would have thought. In any case, this is all speculation. If we want to get to the bottom of it, we'll need more evidence. Yes, though we don't have any clues to go on, we should sweep the area again soon. But first, let's focus our attention on the problem at hand. Look! Another letter! It must be Dodo King! A letter? Quick, read it! Mysterious Dodo King, mysterious Dodo King. He sleeps alone on the southwesterly isle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish, the secret lies here. Do you dare to proceed? More cryptic riddles? What could it mean? And does it have anything to do with those crystals? And also, Southwesterly Isle? Now which island would that be? I'd say it's about time we went and investigated instead of standing here making wild guesses. We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here. There is too? The island over there is really weird. It has a big, huge round thingy on it. Clee, did you go off by yourself without authorization again? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to go for a walk. As long as you didn't activate any mechanisms. <sighs> Even if it seems completely empty here, it's easy to run into danger when you're by yourself. Klee, next time you want to go anywhere, please tell me first, okay? We'll go together. How does that sound? I thought Master Jean is always busy with other things. You really mean it? Of course. Yay! Okay! Oh, where does she get the energy? If Paimon didn't know better, Paimon would think that Jean was Klee's mother. You know, I had the exact same thought just now. Kaya. <laughs> My apologies, Acting Grandmaster. Honorary Knight, let's go and take a look. Seems like some kind of energy shield. Careful, all of you. Don't touch it. It might send us flying for all we know. Hmm. Big shield, big shield! <laughs> Klee knows you're in there! Hey, Dodo King, it's me, Klee! Come out and face me! No answer? Huh. Maybe he's not here. No, he's gotta be here! The bigger the shield, the better Dodo King must be. Sounds like Klee logic to Paimon. Oh, I think Klee's right. It's such a huge energy shield. There must be some reason for it to be here. A reasonable inference. I agree. An energy shield needs an energy source. If we can find the connected devices to the source, we should be able to destroy it. Let's all look for any potential devices in the vicinity. Ready, steady, da da da! Klee, walk! Don't run! Come on! You don't want to finish last place, do ya? Let's go! to do with the shield three devices in total and look the light converges in one place albedo are we able to deactivate the shield from here hmm. these light emitting devices each have a small frame in front of them looking at the shape here it seems like something is supposed to be fixed in place 
What shape is that? Um, I don't get it. Someone explain. An oblong circle. Fan-shaped, I suppose. Hmm, what could it be? We're by the ocean. This shape is a seashell, perhaps? But all the shells we've seen were either bigger or smaller than this shape. If it's not a shell, then it's got to be... Huh, a fish scale. A fish scale? But why would we want to put a fish scale there? Are there any other clues around? Whatever it is, we'd be placing it into the frames in front of the light emitting device. Which means... Right! I've never seen anything like this. Oh, so that's what they're for! If I'm not mistaken, this is a very particular type of installation. Light is integral to its function. I've seen similar designs elsewhere. The light has to meet certain requirements or emit on a specific path. The mechanism is only activated if the light conditions are met. It would appear that these three installations are the keys to activating the energy shield. Would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installations themselves each have their own color. Red, blue, and yellow. Yes, just like letter. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. Huh, that's right. Honorary Knight, didn't that big machine we just defeated drop something? Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. It looks like these three crystals might be the answer to this whole riddle. Give precious things to the greedy spirit in the sea. Huh, is that what we have to do? If my understanding is correct... Huh. Honorary Knight, I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean-dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan! In that case, Paimon's got something to say. On the way over, Paimon saw a huge conch shell with lots of fish swimming around it. If we're placing the crystals in the sea, then surely that's the best place to do it. Plus, the water is pretty shallow over there. It'll be easy to get the crystals back if the plan doesn't work. It will work. Don't jinx it. Okay, okay. It'll work. Everyone follow Paimon! do it, right? But where are the fish? Clee, was there anything else on that letter? Oh, uh, um, what was it? Greedy spirit, greedy spirit. You made the moon run a ring. So, maybe this type of fish only comes out after dark? Or to put it another way, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Catch fish, eat. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go fish blasting! Hey! Hold on, Klee. Will Master Jean come too? Jean said if Klee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean, and then we can go together, right? Uh, yes I did say that. <sighs> Alright then, time to go fish blasting with Klee. Uh, is Paimon hearing things? Jean and Klee are gonna go fish blasting? It's way worth it. The fish will taste so good. This is a deserted island, so explosions shouldn't trouble anyone. It's just a bit of relaxation, right? Find some fish! Find some fish! Let's go! There! Mini fish! Klee's gonna get there first! Wait! Wait! Well, there they go! Well, if Razor is going, then I suppose it's fine. Once everyone is settled in, I will go after them. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic. 
I was just thinking about taking a stroll. Meaning you're off on another pirate treasure hunt? <laughs> Who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. Captain Kaya's on the case. Ugh. Master Diluc, aren't you interested in pirate treasure? Hardly. I'm more interested in peace and quiet. Paimon doesn't think you'll settle for nothing to do. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. For a bunch of grown-ups, they really can't sit still for more than a few seconds. So restless. At least Albedo's able to sit and enjoy the... Huh? Albedo! Albedo said that he wanted to spend some time alone painting. Jeez, what's up with everyone? Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. It's not often that we get a taste of island living. I'm not surprised that everyone wants some time to themselves. Everyone should enjoy the break while it lasts. I'll convene everyone when the fish arrives. <sighs> I suppose we have let our focus drift a little. But at the end of the day, you can't deny that this ocean view really is something. Traveler, make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself, too. No, I... I was just... <sighs> What I mean is, I hope you enjoy yourself here. No matter what is waiting for us down the line, I will protect everyone, especially Klee. This is my duty as the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. That's Jean for you. Always reliable. Traveler, thank you. It is nice of you to say so. Anyway, I hope we can all find moments of peace and happiness on this beach. <laughs>